Well, hey guys, Nicole Sauce here from the Living Free in Tennessee podcast. And I wanted to tell you about an opportunity I got in 2017. In 2017, Jack Spierko put out for his spring workshop that anybody who was interested in teaching a class could send him their idea and he would give them a hundred bucks off their ticket. And I did that. And that year I would not have gone to his workshop. I would have not paid the hundreds of dollars tuition to go to his workshop had I not been chosen as one of the speakers. And I went there. And up until that point with Hollow Roast Coffee, I had been yeah, occasionally going to a farmer's market, selling to some friends. Y'all who listen to my podcast would buy some coffee sometimes. But I was maybe shipping 10, 20 pounds a week total. And I was roasting half a pound at a time. And my presentation was about how it was a, a, a not bad side hustle because I could roast while doing other things on the homestead. That was also the year that I decided to walk away from a six-figure job because the stress of the job was causing heart palpitations. And I decided it was negatively impacting my health. I had spent many years working in the freedom movement and realized that the work I was doing was not the highest and best use of my time. And since that time, my life has blossomed into what it is today. While at Jack Spierko's, I explained why I was not going to go commercial with Hollow Roast Coffee because it was a hurdle. It was a $20,000 hurdle to get a roaster. And the minute I said those words, I realized two things. One, I love roasting coffee. I love making people happy in the morning when they take that first sip. I love hearing feedback about the coffee, even when it's like, hey, this roast wasn't what I thought it would be. What's up? Right? And that all of those interactions are something I love. Mm -hmm. Two, I was going to take Color Roast Coffee commercial. And from there, I did a Kickstarter to pre-sell coffee, which was successful. It enabled me to buy my first roaster and build the life I have today. And today, I'm sitting here by my wonderful wood stove, getting ready for zero degree night with my two dogs who are a little restless because they'd like me to take them on a walk. Oh no, I said the word, didn't I? And everything is better. It took years of work. It took five years of work to get from feeling constantly like, am I gonna make enough? Am I gonna make enough to, I am confident that when I set my mind to it, I can bring in the money we need to bring here locally by pursuing our passions rather than by letting somebody else make my decisions for me at a job, have control over my schedule at a job. That being said, I wanted to pass on that same opportunity to folks who come to my spring workshop. We are doing our seventh LFTN spring workshop, April 25th through 27th. I've got the topic or theme is back to the basics. And that's basics around the homestead. That's basics of business. That's basics of interpersonal relationships. We will be here for three days. Camping and food is included. I've got Porter House from Porter House and Teal coming out to tell us about how he developed water on his land using a permaculture lens when there was no water. He's also going to talk to us about how he built his YouTube channel from a small channel to a reasonably successful channel. We're gonna hear from Patty about basic considerations you wanna have when you're starting a business from the legal side. We're going to hear from our friend at Strong Roots Resources, Carrie. He's gonna do a wild edible walk with more wild edibles than ever before, which is super cool. Sean Mills will be out here talking about how he's rehabilitating and redesigning his homestead after not being on it for three years. We've also got John Pugliano from Investable Wealth and the Wealth Studying Podcast coming to talk, about a, talk to us about finances. A lot of different back to the basics things are happening. I've even got Patrick Warman teaching us how to forge. As this program came together, I got super excited and I realized something. There are other people out there right now who are like I was in 2017 at Jack Spierko's who are ready to find their passion, change their lives. But they're hesitating to come because the ticket price is $500. And it's $500 because it costs a lot 
to, to support this kind of a workshop on a homestead, especially with all the awesome food we provide. <laughs> so I wanted to give an invitation. I have made four spots available on the agenda for presentations from you about anything. Our theme, of course, is back to the basics. But you can present about anything. Shoot me an email, Nicole at livingfreeintennessee.com or go to livingfreeintennessee.com and click on the contact form. Fill that out and I will give you $100 off your ticket if we choose to have you be one of those four presenters. Also, 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 if you are not sure if you should present or scared of presenting, this is your chance, man. This is your chance. The best thing about the workshop are the people you meet and the intensive time together that we get where we can help bust through the poverty mindset. Toolman Tim will be there where we can give each other ideas and encouragement and develop a network of doers because it's the network of doers that's made the difference in my life. Not, not just that one moment at Jack Spierko's, but my network of doers that has surrounded me through the podcast, has surrounded me in the TSP community, has surrounded me on this journey, helping me when I'm like, you know what, I'm having a bad day. Somebody help me through this. You know what, I'm having a great day. Somebody celebrate with me. Check it out, livingfreeintennessee.com. One last thing. The deadline for getting your submission in is tonight, Sunday night, midnight. Monday morning, I'm going to look them over and decide and let you know before we launch ticket sales on January 20th, which is next Saturday. So get your idea in. See you soon.